It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. It is our mission to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today is no exception to the rule. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com. And if you happen to catch us on the rebound on the platform of your choice, all you have to do is ask your smart device to play the latest episode of the Mike Prince Show. And without that, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Panthers take care of business on the road. They knock off the Golden Lions 55 to 24. Controversy slightly, nothing major. But the announcers of the Golden Lions broadcast thought that perhaps the Panthers ran the score up. But when you're playing your guys in reserve, they're getting out there to try to execute as well. And the name of the game is to score or be stopped scoring. But they've gotten past that. But we will ask Coach Bubba about that throughout the course of the week. The Panthers will now get ready to take on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils in Itabina this weekend. And it's a game that they must win because guess who's on their heels? The Texas Southern Tigers. The Tigers take care of Grambling in great fashion to stay in the number two slot. All those Southern did win their game over weekend as well as Alcorn. But because Texas Southern has defeated Alcorn and Southern head to head, if they win and the Panthers lose, Texas Southern is your Western Division champion. The Panthers win and they are in. Now the good thing about it, Bubba McDowell in his first season leading the way for the Panthers has assured himself a winning record. He's either going to be six and five or seven and four for the regular season. And you got to acknowledge that on behalf of Bubba McDowell and his coaching staff. So congratulations to the Panthers for that. But we have one more to win to tie all this up in a nice little bow. And speaking of one more to win, the volleyball tournament starts this coming weekend from Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas. The Panthers, as we speak right now, are on the outside looking in. They did beat Southern on yesterday. They'll play all corn today. Right now, the Panthers are 5 and 10. They must win, and Bethune will have to lose in order for the Panthers to have a remote chance of getting in there because they beat Bethune Cookman in the head to head and they would have the identical record. However, the Panthers are behind Alabama A&M and Alabama A&M beat the Panthers head to head. So it's somewhat tangled, but it can be fixed if the Panthers win their set against Alcorn and let the chips fall where they may. On the basketball side of things, women played Washington State Cougars, fell by the score of 89-61. Strong performance by the Panthers, but they will regroup and get ready for their next journey. And it's so much to go on. Will the Panthers, on the football side of things, outlast and hold on? to get the rematch against Jackson State? Will the Panthers get into the volleyball tournament in Houston? We'll keep you posted. 
have on the radar to hear from our coordinators corner, Coach Middleton and Coach Frederick. And of course, we'll hear from the head man himself, Coach Bubba McDowell. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. It's time for me to exit stage left. My time is far spent. Thank you, you guys, so much for joining in with us. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. And subscribe and like our YouTube postings at the Mike Prince Show. I've got to go. You guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.